Hello everyone and welcome to this first installment of Thomas and Friends Home Media Reviews. Last time, we kind of took a look at uh, what the series is striving to achieve and what its purpose is, showcasing the various home media releases of the Thomas and Friends television series and, and see if it's worth picking up or not. Like I stated back in Episode 0, this time around we'll be looking at the most recent release of James Learns a Lesson on DVD. Here's how th these videos will be playing out. First, we will look at the history of the specific item. And then, we will move into a close-up of the item, which is basically me showing off my uh, copy of the product. And then, we will uh, answer the five main questions, as always. So, let's not waste another minute, and let's move in to the history of James Learns a Lesson on DVD. James Learns a Lesson has been a part of the Thomas and Friends home media range for, for a long time now, ranging back to 1990. But we're not looking at its VHS releases, we are looking at its DVD releases, and the only dates that I could find was it was first released in 2005 by Anchor Bay, and then Hit brought it back out in 2009 with the uh, so-called Apple packaging, as I like to call it. And then it was also released again in 2011, and then just recently in 2014. So that's all the history I could find on this item. So let's move in to the close-up, and then once we get back, we will answer the five main questions. Alrighty guys, and here is your close-up look at my copy of James Learns a Lesson on DVD. Now, here's how this whole close-up section is going to work out. Basically, after I give the history of the item, which is this item right here in this case, uh, we're going to be taking a look at it, my personal copy, and then after that we're going to go back and answer the five main questions. So let's take a look at this. Standard cover art on the front, it's actually the cover art from the 2000, 2001 VHS release. Here's your side, you've got your Hit Entertainment logo right up there. You go down the side, it is released by Universal, so this is a recent release because if you all didn't know, Universal just got the rights to release the Thomas and Friends merchandise on home video and such. Here's your back. Storyteller Ringo Starr, same kind of setup from the 2001 VHS release. There's your story stops, your hit entertainment logo, copyright information on the bottom. As far as bonus content goes on this, there's no bonus content whatsoever. We open it up, we take the disc out. It's essentially the disc from the, the uh, 2005 release where it had like that, you know, I call it Apple. Uh, case, but you've also got uh, Universal stamped on there, so you know it's a recent release. But yeah, as far as, you know, content on the disc itself, you just get the, uh, oddly, uh, you actually get the uh, original VHS mastering of this on this disc, which I find really nice. I kind of wish that, that, that they would have came back and, you know, cleaned up the footage a bit, because it does look like a VHS, but... It is still nice to see that uh, Universal does care somewhat, but uh, yeah, as far as bonus features go, no bonus features whatsoever. It's it's basically a bare bones copy of James Learns a Lesson, which is what you would be getting if you bought a VHS. And uh, oh, actually, there are some trailers on this. There's some trailers for King of the Railway, um, Dinos, and Discoveries and Tale of the Brave. So you get some sort of bonus content with this with the trailers. But uh, anyway guys, that's your all's look at my copy of James Learns a Lesson. And uh, let's go ahead and cut back and we will answer the five main questions. All right guys, so we're back from the close-up and you all saw what this product looks like, the most recent release. We're here to answer the five main questions. So question number one, where can you pick this product up well, I'd say you you could pick this product up almost everywhere, really. Anywhere that has Thomas merchandise. 
Number two, is this product still being printed today? Yes, it is. Number three, should you pick this product up? This is basically if I would recommend it or not. Eh, I'd say it is nice to have the VHS mastering, and I'm glad that they didn't tinker with it or change it, but it's really not something that you really need to, to like rush out and go buy right this second. Number four, where should you pick this product up? Uh, I picked mine up at Walmart from the $5 bin, so I'd say check out your local Walmart. You should find it there. And number five, what price should you pay for it? Well, I'd say around the 5 to $10 range is probably what this, were, what this uh, release is worth. So anyway, guys, uh, so thank you so much for watching this first installment of Thomas & Friends Home Media Reviews. Our next review, what is that? Well, I'm going to be going in kind of a chronological order now. We're going to be taking a look at the VHS r releases now. Sort of in a chronological order, pretty much, because uh, we're starting with the very first standalone Thomas & Friends VHS r release, and that is Thomas Gets Tricked by Strand VCI back in 1990. I'll see y'all next time.